All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to show you how to winterize your Mercury Optimax for storage. Doesn't necessarily have to be in the winter time. If you're just storing it for a long period of time, several months, two, three, four months, you got to winterize this thing, protect the internals so it doesn't get damaged. That's coming up. <laughs> Okay guys, in step one, what we're going to do is remove this lower cowling. That'll give us access to the lower spark plugs. We won't need to have any elbows or anything like that. We can just go straight in with a socket. There is two screws on the back side of the cowling. And there is going to be another set of screws in here that uh, remove this retainer plate. Another screw underneath here, guys. And basically those are the two back in there. One right here, one underneath, one underneath the hoses. We're gonna remove that lower cowling. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then we can start to remove the spark plugs and uh, get this engine ready for winterization. All right, guys. To remove this uh, retainer plate that holds the hoses in this uh, bracket in place, you're going to need an 8 millimeter uh, socket. Two screws. Retaining plate. Set those off to the side. Now we're going to remove the uh, lower screw underneath the cowling. Oh, one more thing to, to mention, guys. This weather stripping needs to come off. It just peels up and just remove it. This little uh, retaining plate also comes off once the weather stripping is gone. Just move that off to the side. Now we'll access the lower hole. You'll need a extension to reach a little bit farther down. Comes right out. It's a longer one. Now we'll move to the back. Again, you'll see the one screw right here where my finger is, and then there's one underneath the hoses there. If you have an Optimax 200 or greater, there's a little plastic port that you can remove here, and it gives you access with your wrench to access those screws. If you don't have this port, you'll have to move hoses and things out of the way, get an, uh, a socket down in there and get the uh, screw removed. So we'll remove that uh, little plug, and then we'll remove the screws. All right, guys, here's the plug. It just pops out. Just got to push it from, either push it in or out. How you can get your wrench. All right, guys, now that you've removed all the screws, we can now remove the lower cowling. You're going to grab a hold of it, and basically you're just going to just jiggle it off a bit. It's on rubber mounting uh, brackets. So just take your time, get this side off. Be careful not to drop it. And uh, you have one side of the lower cowling gone. When you have this lower cowling off, this is a good time, guys. Take an extra second. Have your strainer right here, water strainer. If you can see that right there. You remove this hose, remove this strainer. Take a look at it. A lot of times it gets full of junk. And... Um, you can just clean it out now that the lower cowling's off real easy and then just put it back on. This extra, take you an extra minute here to do this, so uh, it's well worth it. 
and if it's clean you're all good put it back in that only take a couple minutes it's gonna do that right now guys and uh, that's your strainer got a bit of junk around it gonna clean it up put it back in all right when you're gonna replace the strainer put some of this uh, pipe compound it's like a paste makes a watertight seal so I'm just gonna put a bit of this all around the threads thread it back in Okay, just seat it and just give it one little small quarter turn. That's all you need. Shove the hose back on. Get your zip tie. Lock it back down. All right, that was one little extra step, but uh, it'll go a long way to preventing... Uh, damage and that getting clogged up okay now we're going to move to the uh other side here guys we're going to move this uh part of the cowling here this right here guys before we remove it we have our uh, trim switch and inside uh this trim switch it's connected to a little clip move that clip and now the uh cowling can be removed again same thing guys you're just gonna slowly just pry it off nice and easy comes right off all right guys we're just about on our uh final step here we're going to remove uh the spark plug wires that gives us access to the spark plugs we're going to remove the plugs and then we're going to inject oil as per the uh, winterizing maintenance book Make sure you double check for your engine. This is a 2009 Optimax. If your engine's different, check your manual. Inject uh, 30 mils of oil into the cylinders. Crank it over by hand and then put it all back and she's ready for storage. All right guys, I'm just gonna go in here and just start removing these wires. Some of them are difficult to reach. You just gotta jiggle with it, get them off, put them out of the way. All right guys, we're going in there with a 5 8 spark plug socket. Lock it in, quick little turn, comes loose. Good time to take a look at your plugs. I've been running these plugs for a few years. I think I might get some new ones for next year. You know, costs maybe 20 bucks. Just change them out every couple of years, guys. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the lower ones. These are the ones that are always a pain to get to. But you can see here with that cowling off. Socket goes straight in, no issues. No chances of stripping or cross threading. All right guys, I'll remove the next one which is the other difficult one again socket goes straight in no problems comes right out all right guys i'm not going to uh 
film the rest of the plugs. It's pretty much the same thing. We'll get back once I start injecting the oil and show you how that's done. All right, guys, I got all the plugs removed. The next thing we're going to do is tilt the motor up just so it gives me a better angle to inject the uh, oil into the cylinders now that I've removed all the plugs. And then we're going to crank uh, the engine over by hand. I'll show you how to do that when we're done injecting all the oil. All right, guys, for uh, this job, I like to uh, get a syringe. And I just added a piece of tubing onto the end, and that gives me uh, the length I need to reach down inside the cylinder and squirt the oil in. Uh, you can use your DFI oil, or I just use uh, the mercury two-stroke oil. It's just going in the cylinder walls and will be burned off once you start the engine. So this is oil is fine or you can use the DFI oil if you have it. I'm just gonna suck up 30 mils and just squirt it into each cylinder wall. So I'll show you how you do that. All right guys, I've got my syringe full of oil. I'm gonna inject it in the first uh, cylinder. I'm gonna do that for each cylinder. All right guys, I'm gonna do the rest and then uh, we'll put the plugs back in and then we'll turn it over by hand. All right guys, we finished injecting all the oil into the cylinder walls. Now we're gonna turn the uh, motor over by hand. To do that, we are gonna remove this flywheel cover plate. So it just pries up. All right, and it just comes off. On the top of the flywheel here, I'll show you guys. It's a 15 16 socket. Just gonna fit it over top of the flywheel and we're just gonna turn it over by hand. Go up and down a few times. There's gonna be a bit of resistance. You can get a good look at that. I can. Raise it up a bit. I can show you the top. That's the top of the engine. You see the flywheel and the socket sitting right in that nut. I'm just cranking this thing. I'm doing. So this is just moving the cylinders up and down. All the oil we put in there, it's coating all the cylinders. And that's what gives it its protection against rust. One more time here. All right, that's all we need to do now. We just need to put the spark plugs back in, put the lower cowling back on, and this engine for this stage of winterization is done. Putting the plugs back in, guys, just use your uh, hand to uh, start it. You don't want to cross thread here. Just get it till it sits down. The manual uh, recommends they get torqued down to 20 foot pounds. But you know what? You can just do a quarter turn. It's what I've been doing, it's good. That's it. Put your spark plug wires back on. Put the lower 
cowling back on and then we're done if you have any uh questions guys leave them in the comments give it a like if you like this video guys and uh, stay tuned for uh, more maintenance videos more fishing videos have a good one guys thanks